Hello everyone, before we get started here, if you haven't had the opportunity to watch our starter free-to-play GB10 and DB10 videos, I'd highly recommend you go scope those out, because today we're going to be doing exactly the same thing for NB10, and Necro B10 can be pretty intimidating. Frankly, that's for good reason. There's a few things to note before we get started. In NB10, attack speed is capped and cannot exceed a certain point without a buff. Along that same train of thought, attack bars cannot be manipulated. Each turn, the boss will also generate a shield that will negate the first 7 hits of damage, so multi-hitters are a must. Oh, and occasionally the boss will steal the unit that's dealt the most damage to him. In order to get them back, you'll have to reduce that unit's health to zero, so that's something we'll want to keep in mind when building our team. Okay, now that I've told you the things, to start off, fuse yourself as Zhang Fei, the Fire Panda. I know I'm telling you to fuse a lot of stuff these days, but he's farmable and he pulls his weight in both NB10 and raids. He hits three times on his first skill, so that means if he has the counter buff on when the boss attacks, he will immediately take three hits off the Lich's shield. His healing effect will also provide bonus support for your team. I'd recommend to build him using Violent Guard or Violent Blade. Hopefully by this point you will have tried your hand at some raids and realized that Colleen is nuts. Also at the time of recording this, she's currently the number one most used monster in NB10. Her multi-hits, heal, and attack buff will be a huge benefit to your party, but she also applies heal blocks so the boss's vampiric effect will be negated. Violent runes are always lovely though I put mine on swift energy to keep her fast and healthy. Next up is Lapis. Her first two skills hit three and four times respectively. Having the attack bar reduction and absorption effects will also help you get through those early waves of enemies faster too. Granted, those same effects won't help in the boss fight, but the multi-hits will help chip away at the shield faster. Also, I'll be using her leader skill in lieu of a crit rate leader skill purely because we don't have one on offer in this team. If you're having trouble surviving, Zhang Fei's defense leader skill can also be helpful. With that said, if you have Hua, I'd recommend subbing her in, though we can talk about that a little later. Okay, so admittedly, I have my Lapis ruined on Despair, which is an option, and it helps clear out early waves of enemies, but you have to weigh that benefit against the possibility of her stunning your team if the boss steals her. To give and take, another option would be to build her using Fatal Blade. Taking up the number 4 slot on your team is Sarah the Water Cowgirl. The Cowgirls are available through the guild shop in the form of summoning pieces, kind of akin to the Ifrits, though they only cost 100 guild points per 10 pieces and you only need 40 pieces to summon. The Light Cowgirl can also work and she's obtainable through secret dungeons on Sundays, though for the purposes of this video, I'll be using the Water one. Sarah has a couple notable contributions to the team, the first of which is the attack speed slow debuff on her first skill, which is immensely valuable. It will help keep the boss from moving too quickly, thus allowing you and your squad to take more turns. It's also worth mentioning that each of her skills is a multi-hit and her third skill hits six times. Six times, dude. That's all but one of the boss's shield. So needless to say, she's good at getting hits in. And finally, it's everyone's favorite good dog, Bella. Though Bella Dion doesn't hit multiple times, it can be another means of applying defense break and healing. If you're having a hard time landing those defense breaks, I'd recommend building it on Violent Focus, or you can always go Violent Energy. So that covers the starting team. Now I just wanted to briefly talk about a few monsters that you can sub in if you have access to them. First off is Hua. Her leader skill is a huge help since it boosts crit rate, and she has slow on her first skill. Plus her passive lets her occasionally hit twice. Next up is Zhao Lin. She's another means of defense break, and she has a few ways to trigger a multi-hit. Beyond that, the water and wind liches are fantastic, Ganymede's pretty cool since he hits twice and can refresh someone on your team. In addition to Zhang Fei, Feng Yan and Mi Ying both work really well with the counterattack buff, and Lucian always helps. Plus, if you have a pair of the twins, throw them in your team. So if you want to try other units, you absolutely should. You by no means need them, I just wanted to bring it up in case you had them. Figure out what works best for you and your monster box. Alright guys, I hope this helps. Let me know what your first NB10 team was in the comments section too. I'd love to hear it. And I'm usually down there answering comments when these videos come out. Alright everybody, talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.